Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us today. This is, a, this is a special episode, folks. I'm doing something that I've never seen done before, and you probably haven't either. I'm not just doing a brisket. As you can see in the title, I'm doing a bone-in brisket. This is a prime brisket, folks. Tell you where I got it later, but for now, trust me, this is gonna be an epic video. Hope y'all stick around for it. And to help me with this cook, this is uh, probably about 10 p.m on a Thursday night. I've got a good friend of mine from Baby Bag Maniac. His name is Justin. Justin, come on in, man. You're gonna help me with this cook, right? I am, I'm so excited about this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think so too. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna trim off some of the fat that's on this brisket, and we're going to uh, put some black ops on it. The uh, Oak Ridge Barbecue Black Ops, you've never had it before, I've right? never had it before, and I've heard it's awesome. It is, it's really, really good. Y'all stick around, folks. We're gonna show you, throwing this thing on the pit, it, it's, it's 26 pounds. Can you believe it? Wow. It's huge. It's huge. It is. It's huge. <laughs> Stick around, folks. It's going to be a good one. All right, folks. Before we trim this brisket, I just wanted to show it to you. This is what a bone-in brisket looks like. Folks, if you have, like in our family, we have people that raise cattle here in Texas. If you've got somebody that can find the full carcass, you know, if you've got a cattle you want, you want to sell and take to slaughter, they can get you bone-in brisket. You just gotta know a butcher that can cut it out for you. That's how we did this. Um, Justin. Yes. Why don't you show us this fine bone-in brisket? Well, I mean, from this side, it looks like this is, this is your fat cap that you see on every brisket, it is. right? Yeah. yeah. And so that would make, this I guess the, this, this, this is the point. point. This is the point. And this is the flat. Exactly. Now, it looks like this needs a little bit more trimming. Um, but we have the bones on the other side. Should we show them that now? Flip it over, yeah. Let's. Uh... I'm just like Vanna White here. Here we oh, go. There we go. There we go. Check that out, so folks. So there it is, all the bones right there. Mm -hmm. And again, point, this is the flat right here. This is your bones. Yeah. Let's spin it around. Let me yeah, see the other side. side. There you to, go. Kind of more to see over here. Excellent. Yeah. So, Bone in brisket. I've never seen such a I've thing. I've never seen anything like this. This is going to be good, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna trim this up. You got anything else you want to add? Pray for us. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah. I mean, I have confidence. We're experts, people. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. We know what we're doing. <laughs> we're gonna trim this up pretty good and uh, leave the bones on it, and then we're gonna uh, show you what it looks like after we trim it, so stick around. All right, folks, we trimmed this up, and uh, you know, we were thinking, you know, Justin and I, I appreciate you being here, Justin, really. I Thanks. do, man. Baby Bag Maniac, folks, check him out. Thanks for having uh, me. Here, let me show you. See, Baby Bag Maniac. <laughs> Go check him out, man. He's got a great channel. Um, anyway, we were thinking since there's ribs on the other side of this, as you can see, you know, we've got ribs over here. So we're not going to be able to really season this side. So, in our brilliant way of thinking, you know, we <laughs> trimmed this up pretty good. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see, we trimmed it up pretty nice, you know. We're going to leave all this in here. Because again, these are like some cartilage bones and stuff here. Not real sure what this is. Maybe rib cap or something. We're not sure. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna leave that there. This is the flat. We kind of carved out all that hard fat here, I'm just barely leaving the bones attached. Okay. And I don't know if you can see, but the bones. I'm gonna flip it up that way. Okay. The bones themselves they taper down towards the point. Okay. So they're full bones here, or you know, pretty much full bones at the flat end, and then they taper down towards the point. They make a point. Does that make sense? <laughs> At the point. So uh, we're thinking anyway, the, the ribs are here. We're not going to be able to season this up. I mean, we can season the back side here, but we're not going to be able to season the top side of the ribs, obviously. And what we're going to do is, or what we did, is trimmed a lot of this fat off of this top layer to, to get it as thin as we could so that the rub we're putting on here can actually get into the meat and make a proper bark. And again, Justin, uh, if you don't mind, spin that around for us, man. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. You got it. So here it is from this side. This is the point again. Like we said, we clean this up quite a bit, more than we would normally. But I think that's our best chance of actually having, you know, some good texture. The, on the, the bark and seasoning and stuff? Yeah. 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 So this is nice. Mm -hmm. I think so myself. 26 pounds, man. That's huge. It is. It's 26 pounds of goodness. Yeah. Did you show them this? Did you talk about that? Yeah, you did. Uh, I think I did, yeah. Um, now, 
as y'all see me do, I just like to use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. You can use olive oil, you can use mustard, you can use water, I don't care, whatever you want to use. But uh, we're just going to use a little bit of Worcestershire. And the rub that I've got, Justin, again, has never tried. I think we mentioned that a little while ago. I'm excited about this. Oak Ridge Barbecue Black Ops. Go get you some of this. It's good stuff. Really, really good on beef, especially brisket, folks. What I did, I put some in this shaker right here. We're just going to shake some of this on here. And you want to go on a pretty good layer, too. All right. Shake this on really good. And we're going to coat all sides along with the Worcestershire sauce and this Black Ops rub. That smells good. I know. It's really good. You want to taste a little bit? <laughs> I will. <laughs> Actually, I got to figure out another oh. way to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do you it. Taste <laughs> some in a little bit. <laughs> anyway, no, I did it. <laughs> there you go. That's the barbecue spirit. <laughs> so, anyway. We're going to let this sit on here. The uh, Yoder Wichita is coming up to temp, folks. And we're going to be cooking this all night long. And it's probably going to be cooking 225 to 250-ish Fahrenheit, okay? But we're going to let this thing go. I'm not sure how long 26 pounds with the bones is going to take. So we're learning together as we go. Let me flip it. Um, yeah, and what I'm going to do, I'm go ahead and flip it if you want. What I'm going to do is let this sit on here, this rub. And, and we're going to let it get kind of wet before I put it on the grill, which is probably going to take, oh, 30 minutes or so. So when I throw it on the grill, we'll show you what it looks like, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, got this all wrapped up. Got my pit up to temp. Let's go ahead and throw this bone-in brisket on this baby. I'm going to put it bone side down, and I'm putting the, uh, the flat side actually towards the firebox over here. This is the point. And I'm doing that hoping that this heat will kind of get up under the ribs and that the ribs will help heat the meat from below. So we're going to cook fat side up. Shut the lid down. We're going to let this baby go and we'll check back on it here uh, probably in the morning. Hey folks, it's a brand new day. Tell you what happened last night, man. We put that brisket on about midnight and about 2 o'clock or so after a couple hours, me and Justin was getting pretty tired. We decided to make a judgment call, and uh, this is a little trick that you can do if you've got multiple cookers. If, say if you've got another smoker, like I do, I've got the Weber Smoky Mountain. You don't have to stay up all night tending to the fire on the offset if, if you need to get some rest. You know, so what we did, we fired up the Weber Smoky Mountain. We got it up to about the same temp, about 225, 250, as the offset was. We transferred the brisket over to the, wet, uh, to the Weber Smoky Mountain. Let that baby cook for, I don't know, it's been about six hours now. So, I'm now getting my offset fire back up. It's about up to temp. And we're going to transfer the brisket back on to the offset, let it finish cooking. Let me show you what it looks like right now on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Here we go, folks. That's what she's looking like right now. It's getting a nice bark on it. It's getting really tender. The internal temp, the internal temp is about 168, so it's, it's kind of getting through the stall now. Again, we're fixing to transfer this to the Yoder Wichita. We're going to finish cooking it on that. And we'll probably start spritzing it a little bit too. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. It's been 18 and a half hours on this 26-pound brisket. I'll show you where we're at here on the, so the smoke, the thermal work smoke. Links down below. Y'all click my affiliate link to get you one, man. It's great. 195.8 um, on the brisket. And, uh, well, we were cooking about 250 or so on the, on the pit. And I've been spritzing this like every 45 minutes or so. And it's developing a really, really nice bark. And this will probably be my last time maybe spritzing this thing. Because it's not far from being done, folks. It's probing pretty tender over here in the point, but the flat area still has a little bit left to go. That's why I've got the main probe for the meat in the, point, in the uh, flat area. We're just going to let it keep going. We'll check back on you when we bring it inside. Hey guys, we got this monster brisket ready. Uh, it took forever. How long did it take? It did. Uh, total time right now is 34 and a half hours. 34 and a half hours. So we, we put it in the cooker at 12 midnight, two nights ago. This is, I was telling Troy yesterday, this is the first time I've ever done a brisket where I slept twice between the time I started cooking it and the time we actually ate it. But it's, it's Saturday right now. <laughs> it is Saturday. So we put it in the Wichita for the first four or five hours and then we decided we need some sleep so we put it in the Weber Smoky Mountain. 
Well, we got some sleep, and then yesterday, Troy got up. I'm glad we did that, too. I am, too. <laughs> I am, too. <laughs> that was important. It was <laughs> for me. <laughs> yesterday, Troy got back, got up early and relit the Wichita, and we've been cooking it on that ever since. And so, right before bed last night, we pulled it out, put it in the cooler, um, the ice chest wrapped in towels, and... Oh, full wrapped it, too. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Wrapped it in full. full. Yeah, that keeps the towels from getting nasty, but here we are. Here we are. It's a marathon cook. Is that your yeah. longest cook? That's got to be my longest cook. It, it definitely was mine too. But again, these, this was bone in and 26 pounds to begin with. It did shrink a little bit, but I think it's going to be fantastic. It's super tender from us just lifting it out of the cooler and putting it on the cutting board. We had to be really delicate with it. We really did. <laughs> so so total, total cook time was 23 and a half hours and we let it rest another 10 and a half or so, yep. 10 hours. Let's show you what it looks like, folks. What we were going to try to do is try to slice the bones with the brisket on, especially this flat, I'm sorry, this, this is the flat end here. We're going to try to slice a slice so that we get the bone attached and try to eat it that way. But when we flip it over, go ahead and flip it, Justin. As, as we flip it over here, you're going to see the bones are running different directions. Plus, they've got this chine bone here, which we're not going to be able to cut through without a hacksaw. <laughs> so. I think the best approach for this, I mean, you can see bones are running this way, you got bones running this way, down through here, you got these two bones. Anyway, the flat and the point run different directions, the muscles do. And that's why you've got these bones running different directions and stuff under here as well. So I think we're just gonna have to slice the bones off and then slice the brisket as we would a normal brisket. So uh, if you're trying to bone in brisket, just keep that in mind. Let's, uh, I, yeah, let's go ahead and cut the bones off. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Look how tender this is. Oh, I know it's yeah, <laughs> definitely tender, that's for sure. All right, let me get me a big knife here. And I'm just going to, I mean, look, folks, look. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's tender. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure how to approach this. Uh, it's my first time oh, doing bone in, so. There's another one. So, folks, y'all just bear with me here. Yeah, we'll cut that off. But look at that gorgeous meat under here, man. Oh my gosh. I think just go yeah, from I'm right think, underneath there. I'm thinking to kind of slice just, this off. I have a feeling if we just pulled, <laughs> yeah. it would probably all come off. I'm thinking oh my gosh. so too. That's not giving you any resistance, is it? No, it's not any at all. None, none. And let's, uh, let's turn this so that maybe these folks can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, let's get it done. A little bit more maybe. Yeah, there we go. See, the bones themselves are practically falling off. So I'm just lightly coercing them, very lightly. I guess a bone, or maybe the chine down there. Nah, you're good. Okay, yeah, I'm just kind of hitting, hitting down here. These bones, you got it? I got it. Okay, we're fixing the cut here. One more slice all the way through. All right, there's your bones and there's your brisket. Let me put my knife down here. See if I can help a brother out. What do you want me to do? Uh, I, I'm gonna get the ribs. Okay. All right, so these are the ribs. I'm gonna take them out of the way. And we can lay that brisket. God, it looks gorgeous. It does. Let's lay it the flat side down. Yeah, there you go. That's a little bit for the chef right there. <laughs> Pit master privilege. Pit master privilege, there you go. Folks, oh my God, that's so good. All right, gang, what we did, we removed the brisket. We're going to try out these ribs first. Let's see how this goes. And I don't really think we need the knife. Um, yeah, is that chine bone coming loose? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Nope, oh, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you see that? And you pull these bones, you just get you a little bit, and you got to, you can't help but bite on that, man. Man, look at that. Goodness gracious. Let's try it. Oh, my word. <laughs> that is super tender, folks. So much flavor. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is incredible. There's there's some definitely definitely some meat on this that you can pick off of. Uh, it's not it's not like your normal beef ribs though, just so you know. Oh mm. gosh. Okay. So these these bones basically pull apart, are so tender, and the meat on these bones is beyond tender. It's incredible. So much flavor. So much flavor. Oh my. Okay. If we stop now, I'd be happy. Yeah. If this is all we had. Me too. But fortunately, this is not all we have. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get the brisket over here. 
Let's see what that brisket looks like. All right, everybody, this is what the brisket looks like without the bones. As you can see, it looks pretty, pretty close to your normal brisket. See? Again, we got the flat up here in the front. We got the point. Let's slice this bad boy up and let's see how this Black Ops brisket rub from Oak Ridge Barbecue did because Justin's never had it, folks. I'm just going to cut a nice slice off of the front here. Okay. Looks pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Come on. <laughs> and I did sharpen my knife for those of you who are saying I don't have a sharp knife. This knife is perfectly sharp. I just sharpened it. You get the bark that is really hard, okay? Makes it difficult to cut through, so I don't want to hear y'all talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever get that? Yeah, absolutely. You see that part right there? That's the bark, okay? That's the good stuff, though. It is. It's really, really good. But it's just a little more difficult to cut through. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, now let's, uh, let's lay out some of these slices here. That is, that's almost too tender right there. It's falling apart. It looks pretty. That really looks good. All right, I'm not really seeing that much of a smoke ring, though. I'm not either. I thought there would be more of one because we cooked this thing for so long. 24 hours. Yeah, let's, uh, let's cut it down the middle here and separate. You know, just cut this brisket in half, basically. Let's see what we got in the middle, folks. Okay, there we go. There we go. How about that, folks? What do you think? Oh, yeah, that is that super tender, still juicy. And actually, we probed this before we started cutting it after sitting in the cooler for, what, 10 and a half hours? What was the temp, Justin? 140. 140 Fahrenheit internal after resting for 10 and a half hours, folks. That is gorgeous right there. Let me turn this one Yeah, on. do that point right there, man. I mean, the uh, flat. There yeah, you go. yeah. Check that out, folks. You want to zoom in on that? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right, gang, what we're going to do, I'm going to spin this. Let me get this point over here to the side, but. I wanted to try cutting. Yeah, we cut off. This is the front. This is the middle part right here. I wanted to try cutting some off the middle, just to see, just to see how it did, because that part on the end is pretty doggone tender. Wow. Check that out, man. That is pretty. It is really pretty. That's a little thicker. that folks that looks great that that looks really good now you can see it is overcooked okay it bends nice doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> all right Justin you take that one I'll take this one we'll see if we can get us a bite all right gang I sliced off a little bit of this flat cheers to you man cheers <laughs> not bad huh? that's pretty good yeah it is it's pretty good. I like that. I like the rub a lot. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's so tender and juicy though. Mm-hmm. It's still really, really juicy, folks. Yeah. I mean, look at my fingers. <laughs> mm. <laughs> good. That's good eating, folks. And that bark is fantastic. Yeah. There's no question. It's good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Let's try this point. Okay. I'm gonna slice some point up. All right, folks. So I rearranged my cutting board here. This is the point, and we put the flat back here in the back. Now, when you're doing the point, you know, we sliced it in half, the flat was over here. You want to turn your point diagonally 90 degrees, and the grain's running this way. So you want to cut through the middle of it here, just like so. Boy, that slice is nice. <laughs> oh, we're getting a little, a little smoking on this. Yeah. Nice. Check that out, folks. That looks really, really nice, folks. Oh, yeah. It is still plenty juicy. Yeah, that's that's a lot of juice right in there. It is. It's and you can see the the size of the the meat fibers in here. That's what makes it so tender. This is the actual point. This is the flat section down here that's kind of curved under. But it's still it's still really juicy. Let's let's get us a slice of this. Hang on. <laughs> Man, my mouth's just salivating right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, this has more of the point. So move that one out of the way there. You got it. We'll cut some of this for you folks. Oh my word. Yep, got that bark down there. There yep. we go. Holy cow. I mean, goodness gracious, folks. This is my wife's favorite part. That's mine too. Yeah. That I don't know if you can see the juices just flowing out of this 
That is awesome right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this flat out, just like so. All right, move the flat section out of the way. Let's check out this point. What do you say, Justin? I do not mind doing that for you. All right. I'm a friend. I'm just gonna cut some slices here. And so I will. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna taste this on camera too, folks. Give me mm. just a second here. Justin couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that'll be my piece right here. <laughs> And uh, I know y'all can see that, that juice just glistening on there, man. Here, I'll, I'll do it again on camera. Here we go. Bark. Oh, my word. I'll do it again on camera. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> this is good. That's awesome. Yeah. This is good. The other one was good. This is great. Tell me, man. Point's my favorite. Yeah. You can get a little sweetness in this. In mine. Yeah, I can taste it too. Yeah, the rub. You can definitely taste the rub better on this piece. Oh man, that is so good. Mm. It's so good, folks. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me. I, I, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I, don't think, I, I don't think I've ever had a brisket this good, folks. <laughs> I think part of it too, Justin, you know when you want to go buy a nice steak and you want it to have a lot of flavor, you get the bone in, right, right? Right. Bone adds flavor when you're cooking some meat. So that I think is, it's actually helping the flavor of this brisket quite a bit. I just think it's magical. It is magical. Oh my gosh. Tell them what you think, man. This is, this is one of the better briskets I've had. This bite is, a, it's, a, it's amazing. I'm gonna take some of this home to my wife. Oh yeah, definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. My wife loves the point. Karen's over here just salivating too. She's ready to eat. <laughs> she is. <laughs> this is this is excellent, folks. Really, really good. If you can get yourself a butcher that can have the whole carcass, you know, head to toe, mm -hmm. or head to tail, have them slice your bone in brisket. That's definitely the way to go. It's, it's a little different, but it has a lot of flavor, folks. It really does. I'm just gonna have one more little bite here. Oh yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Anything you want to say to finish it up? No, thanks for having me, man. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Appreciate you coming and joining me over here. Yeah, it was a long cook, but totally worth it. It was. It was great. You know. Definitely. I love the low and slow cooks like that, even though it took, you know, what, 24 hours <laughs> on, on the pit? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And those that meat on those bones are just, oh, that's succulent meat right there, folks. Yeah. You've never had beef ribs like you've had on this. But this I hope y'all hope that shows through the camera. Yeah, good stuff. It is good stuff. It's all good. And thanks for letting me try that rub. Oh sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah Oak Ridge Barbecue, folks. Oakridge.com. Oakridgebarbecue.com. I'm sorry. Black um, Ops. Black, Black Ops, right? Yeah. yeah. Links down below. Hit show more down below for uh, for the information there. But I hope y'all get you a bone-in brisket. And again, thank you, Justin, Babyback Maniac. Y'all go check him out. I'll put an eye card up here for you. Uh, be sure to subscribe to him. He's, he's got an excellent channel. Really, really good. Thanks, man. And he's funny, too. <laughs> Very entertaining. Not just teaching, but he's entertaining. Y'all take this. Hope you can use it. Hope you get your bone-in brisket. It's worth it. Definitely worth it if you can find one. Um, if y'all like this kind of stuff and you want to see some more YouTubers on my channel, y'all give me some thumbs up. Be sure and leave me some comments what you think about it. And if you do try it, let me know what you think. Hope y'all share this video. And when you do, please tell all of your friends. T-Roy Cooks. Responsibly. Responsibly. Cheers. <laughs> See y'all.